Thank you, Brother Ibrahim, for sitting down with the Collective Nine and taking time out of your busy schedule to do this interview. Of course, it's been a long time coming, and sometimes I doubted if it would ever happen, but we're sitting down right here now, and I thank you for, for taking time out your day. But before we get started, many may have heard of you and heard the name, um, but can you, for those who don't know, can you introduce yourself and kind of tell a little bit about you and who you are? Islam alaikum. My name is uh, Student Minister Ibrahim Ahmed Shahid Muhammad. I'm presently one of the student ministers assigned to the west side of Chicago by Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'm also um, a uh, coordinator with um, Sister Minister. Ava Muhammad at um, the school, the University of Islam, on Fridays. I have been a minister for over 50 years, and I was initially and still presently a minister of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, along with Minister Farrakhan. Thank you, thank you. So the first question, uh I want to kind of jump into is what was your first encounter or introduction or hearing anything about the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam? Well, I was a very, I'm happy to say I was a, a young man, 11 years old, wow. from a single parent family, and my mother's best friend, who happened to be our landlord, we lived in his apartment building. He would later marry my sister, but he would, uh, on many occasions, would tell me or inform me of the black Muslims, mm -hmm. and he would, um, he always had great things to say about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and his student, Malcolm X, the militancy the blackness, the fearlessness of the Muslims. And so he would tell me about them and every now and then he would have a, a recording of Malcolm. And I, I was attracted to Malcolm more so than the messenger initially. Malcolm was more to my liking at that time. Mm. Malcolm was the, certainly his national spokesman, very fiery, very militant. I would later learn that the teacher was more informed, more of a substantive person than his student Malcolm. But Malcolm was the person that I was initially attracted to. What was it about Malcolm that, that stood out to you? The fearlessness and the willingness to confront America, her mistreatment of black people, uh, the, his desire to see us as a strong, independent nation. I was hearing it initially from him and that I was attracted to it. I saw and felt the injustices that black people faced as a very young boy. I lived in an all black housing development, initially Old Gail Murray Homes on the south side of Chicago. I would later move to the west side of Chicago, but on the south side, in all Gill Gardens, I always saw white people in positions of power or influence, the policeman, the fireman, the postman, the bus driver, the doctors, the milkman. And I never saw black people in any position of real influence, with the exception of perhaps a couple of teachers. So what Malcolm uh, talked about in his criticism of America and the lack of real 
influence or independence, I saw this immediately. I saw um, the so-called white man when I would come to Augur Gardens, I mean, pardon me, to Roseland, which interesting is very close to here, I always saw white people as being clean. And uh, I kind of felt a little bit of inferiority because I didn't really know them. So they were different, but they were always in charge, in control. Mm -hmm. And Malcolm pointed that out and, and he shared with us the reasons that they enjoyed control and influence. And I didn't like that. Please explore the collective9.org website and subscribe to the newsletter. Explore the site and make sure you check out Web TV.